Hey guys, welcome to another Fuse Drive TV Friday. And guys, we're here bringing you some more glorious information about Fuse Drive. But before we do that, I wanted to introduce my lovely other people that I work with. I don't want to say co-hosts, because co-host means that we host together. I want to say co-people, because we exist together. That, ex <laughs> that applies to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, see? So we all work together. Anyway. <laughs> well, you're, you're a solipsist, so I'm not sure that you agree with that. Sure. What? Anyway. <laughs> I was like, caught off guard by all that. All right. So, guys, introduce yourselves. Uh, hi, I'm Eric, and uh, I work at Inmodus. I'm Zach, and I do the same. Trust me, they're more casual than you think. They're just, they're very excited. <laughs> Look. So, well, I mean, it's a lot that's been going on. We haven't been here for the last two weeks. There's probably been a lot going on with you guys, though, right? Yeah, you know, like, sure. <laughs> like, want to care to elaborate? Like, is there a lot, like, anything we can talk about here or anything that's going on with you guys personally? I don't, I don't know. Can I, can I talk about the thing yet? No, God. See, there's just, there's, all right. Well, how was your weekend? Weekend? That was a long time ago. Yeah. And I have a four-year-old, so... Your weekend doesn't exist, technically. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. I, I was just playing a lot of games, playing a lot of homework. Playing a lot of games and playing a lot yeah. of homework. The, is is that know. testing the games was playing your homework? Or how do you play your homework in general? Uh, it's lots of watching things fail, but... Okay. <laughs> and hoping that eventually succeeds. Gotcha, gotcha. So it sounds like you're doing a lot of testing on a game for homework. Yes. There we go. Because <laughs> like, like, the way it made it sound like you were just playing with your homework, I'm like, I don't want to do it. It's just right there, and it's calculus, and it's going to be annoying, and I don't want to push that paper over. So... But yeah, no, that's that's how I kind of saw it. Yeah, for me, it was actually, um, what was it? I was doing a lot of homework myself, too. And that's kind of the thing where it's like, uh, and it was for like most of my digital classes. And the thing I found really kind of frustrating over time was that like Adobe itself, since it updates a lot, it always ends up storing. And then the cache itself, like, yeah, you can make your own cache disk, which I do have. But for some reason, even after that time, it will keep updating within like, because you know how they work on a cloud now, right? So they keep updating everything over and over again. And that's kind of where like I see a lot of my problems happening, even though I have like four SSD drives and I have like one HDD drive. Uh, and that's the thing was like, uh, for me, it's, it's always really kind of that frustrating part where I try to always get everything onto the drives and make sure they work. And since I do other stuff with my drives, I'm always constantly shifting around. Right. You know, so it just, it's one of those things where it's like, it always kind of gives me like this like over, <laughs> this kind of dreadful feeling where it's like, oh my god, like I don't know like what's going to happen with all this space, and then after times like you forget about it, and then it happens again, and it now right. just reinserts right. itself to you having that. I think you're suffering from from what we call capacity anxiety here at here at the Modus. You, you just have this feeling where you you never have enough space to do what you want. This is I guess this is ultimately true. What is right. capacity anxiety? This sounds like a cheesy setup, but trust me, this is a real thing. <laughs> 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 well, well, I mean, I, you know, um, uh, the EV owners, uh, especially the early adopters, they had range anxiety because you get in your car and you're going to go X, you know, distance and you're, well, I can do this if I, we don't have a, a detour or I get lost. Um, so it's similar to that. Capacity anxiety is, I, do I have enough space for Red Dead Redemption 2? Because it's 112 gigabytes and I have a 128 gig so, SSD and it's not going to happen because I have all these other games. Well, so, so it's about shuttling things back and forth. It's about I'm just completely out of space because I'm a data hoarder. I definitely have that problem. <laughs> I think everybody does. I mean, like, for me, like, like I do it also on my backup, on my scratch disk along right. with it. So the other part I didn't disclose is, like, I have other files of things to save, like, backed up, like, six phones worth of, like, right. like photos and right. stuff. And I feel like that old person where I shouldn't even care because there's a cloud anyway. Right. But I just feel like there's like that ultimate fail safe. So like when I have to rearrange space constantly, it's always frustrating. And I guess you're right. I mean, like having that idea of like capacity anxiety is a big thing because even for a lot of people who don't do a lot of streaming or, you know, content creation, like we still run into it with just even other programs. It may not be as, as frequent, you know, with stuff we do, but I mean, I'm pretty sure other people experience as much as we have to some point. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what about yourself? Have you experienced the feeling? Uh, I, I no longer experience the feeling. I, I switched to using Future of my home system. I don't have to have to worry about that. But uh, what, a, I, what a company <laughs> show! I, I know. The, he didn't even try to. He didn't immediately launched into like I don't face it. Like 
Thanks, Superman. <laughs> but I, I do have. I still have to deal with it in my personal life though, because uh, I've been trying to teach my girlfriend how to manage data across multiple drives because I haven't set that system up yet. But uh, do you ever get frustrated with that? It's like it's oh, like you're trying to teach someone. Oh. It doesn't even matter if it's your girlfriend. It's like if your grandpa or somebody else you try to teach them something. You're like, to you in your head, you have it down. But when you teach it to somebody else, it's like it should be this easy. Click, 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 and there yeah. you go. And yeah, then like, they're just like, what? Like. <laughs> I knew I had to drive to LA in the morning, but she was also trying to work on homework. So I, I, I stayed up, I, I asked, hey, can I remote back into your system? Can I set some things up? Because I tried to explain to her, like, when you install big new things, put them on the hard drive. And that, that just didn't, didn't click with her, I guess. She assumed when I, I, that I had set everything up to download there for her, but I didn't do that. And then so I'm going on to, I had to move around. Like she, had, she installed the, uh, the new Unreal Engine, and that took up like 30 gigs on her, on her system, and I only had a 128 gig, uh, 128 gig SSD in that system to begin with. Yeah. And uh, that just wasn't enough. She had three gigs available on, on, on the SSD, and start, things just started behaving a little strange, and that's where I had to come in and spend, spend like two hours moving things back and forth. And we're, this would have Oof. all been all been easier if I had planned ahead and put Fuse Drive on the system, but yeah. it's all right, man. It's all right. You, didn't, everyone has those moments where we forget to do something, and like I agree with you on that part. Where it's like it would have probably shortcutted a lot, especially that we see so much of today's programs being updated. And when these, I mean, like you said too, like for me, like when I installed Unreal, I was thinking, oh, it's just a shell. It shouldn't be as much. And then there's this whole engine where it's like we're giving you the engine. But you just need to put new different parts to make the car drive. You're just like, oh yeah. Yeah, it also comes with all the like the tutorial ones built in, so you have other projects already installed with it. Yeah, yeah, those those are also fun too. And like, it's funny because I actually started off on learning on Unreal because like my everybody told me to learn Unreal, and then like when I get into school, immediately I'm told, oh, we're using Unity instead. I'm like, come on, this isn't even fair. So, I mean, are you, so is she learning with Unreal 2 with you, or are you guys learn Unity, or what do you guys use for yours? Uh, she, she's, she's working on a project in Unreal for, for a local museum, so that's, that's what, what she's using it for. Nice, but, nice. A local museum near USC. That wouldn't be the next <laughs> way. Right, going back to the main point, but like we were saying, guys, uh, ultimately we're looking at programs, not just programs, games themselves, constantly updating. Right. And that takes up time. I mean, like, for certain things, they know how to allocate and put them specifically. Like, you know, here you can make, like we said, Adobe can put, like, a scratch to somewhere else. But a lot of times, games immediately target your C or anything that you're using most of the time. And even then, even if you're just updating on certain things, it just starts to grow and grow. I mean, we like you said, 112. Like, that's, that's insanity. Like, I, sh I shouldn't have to spend, like, I mean, that's... I mean, granted, with internet today, it's a little bit faster, so we're not like it's not like it used sure, to be 112, sure. and you're like, oh, God. but it's those giant open worlds, so immersive. You know, you just you love that kind of thing. I stand you know? by my decision. It is Grand Theft Auto with the Western right, skin. Right, right, exactly. They did right. nothing more than that. <laughs> our, our headphone users really don't like when you bang the desk. I'm sorry. I'm just adamant, so I'll just place hand and go like, no, it doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> so. But no, I mean, like, it's just, I stand by there. It's just, I don't think that they really did much more besides just reskin and in air. Like, I think they've had a lot of map outs, and they could have just cleared other things and reskinned it. But then again, so yes, there was some building, but I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody shortcut it because that was too fast to make Red Dead Redemption 2 happen. I know that it's been years, but if you had a whole team dedicated to Grand Theft Auto, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not buying it. I, have the, I feel right, there's something right. sneaky. I, I haven't gotten far enough in there to, to claim one way or the other. Oh, you're actually playing it right now? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. What? Well, again, four How year many old. bar Four-year-old. So, so it's like, you know, I think I get, you know, everyone's sleeping. You can sneak out and play a little bit. <laughs> it's like wife puts her arm over you. are like, okay, just sneak out of bed. Like, uh, the only time I've had that experience was when I was a kid and I had to, like, deal with my parents. That was me sneaking down to play Castlevania. Right, right. So you like, it just be like, it's 6 a.m. They're like, what are again, you doing? Yeah, dating yourself here. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Oh, that's all right. I'm oh, Metroid, man. That one. Oh, uh, so, so, so many hours. See, I played Metroid and I loved it. I was just, the first game that, like, I loved that kind of gave me here was, like, it was, it was Castlevania. Right. But it was, it was, it was, like, Simon Belmont, number right. two. So, like, and people hated that game because, like, it had no point. So, 
But, I mean, yeah, even with games and how they're going towards, like, their constant updates, we also see stuff like, you know, the new Call of Duty is bigger and it has a lot of texturizing. But it's also because they're adding more into it. So, you know, I guess with the update, we keep seeing more and more like this happen. But, like, again, uh, it's... We want to make sure that, like, we don't keep hitting these walls. And, like, I think that's the big thing is, like, why don't, you know, we do more to buy, like, an SSD or, you know, go out and buy another HD and, like, just use that with something else. Like, well, if you got the money, sure, you can go all flash and get something gigantic and, you know, rate it together, perhaps. Well, know. that's all I'm about is flash. I mean, haven't you seen this jack? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I all flash, no cash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As they like to call me a sweet and low daddy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The, uh... so... <laughs> <laughs> even get... I'm kidding yeah, so... about that comment. I just like to use it in some excuse, and nobody calls me that by any means. Yeah, so and if they now, now, now you are going to be called that. I don't want to be called that. So right. w w one of the issues with like using the, f the full hard drive setup I've found is I, I tried using the full hard drive setup on some of my on some of the newer games. Yeah, and some of the cutscenes are expecting so much throughput in order to not be choppy. Yeah, like. Right. I have plenty of powerful hardware to, to play the cutscene, but it seems like the, in my case, a hard drive is a bottleneck. Right. Yeah, that's, so, that's the weirdest thing. Like, I, that used to be my problem as a kid. Like, I would get, like, killer, like, I'd buy a computer, get a killer graphics card, and be like, yes, it should run smoothly. And I'm like, run it HD right. full, like, let's go hard at this. And then it's just like, I was like, Traveler, oh, come <laughs> on, man. Yeah. And it's like, you know, early like, battle scenes from Diablo 2 that just did yeah, I'm, I'm, try like, I'm trying to watch the nice cutscenes in the, the new Call of Duty game, and I'm like, what is going on? So I, I alt tab real quick. I op op open up Task Manager and I see, oh, my hard drive is maxed out. Yeah, that, uh, that, that, yeah. Was, that was the issue, and so uh, that that's when I was like, okay, I definitely need to use put this on my fuse drive. Yeah, and uh, that made things considerably better. So I, I, I had a similar thing with uh, another friend of mine from high school. He wanted to play the new, the new Call of Duty with us, and and so we were playing that for quite a while that day. He had it on his his small SSD in his system, and th then, we're like, then we're like, oh, let's go switch and play a different game for the rest of the night. He's like, ah, oh, sorry guys, but in order, to, in order to download the new Call of Duty, I need to de delete some other games, and that, yeah. one, that one was one of the ones I chose. And yeah. So we all had to wait for him while he moved some other things around, and reinstalled the game he, was pre he previously had, and it, it would just... We wouldn't have wasted so much time if you didn't have to do that. It really is like that's what that's that's literally my problem. It's like when I go and I stream or I'm going to do some editing and I'm like, dude, this is going to be a power heavy like kind of thing I'm going to do. Um, a lot of the times I get met again with the same issues, like the bottlenecking, and it happens. And, it, and like, but the problem is like now I have to stop, and then I have to comb through all the files to go back to figure out what I need to do. But it's like. You know, it seems like if you have fuse drive, you don't have to really worry so much that it's going to be like, oh, here, here's that slot, here you go, it's already separated, and we got yeah. it, take care of it. I've also found when I've stopped working to try to, like, move things around my computer, it's really hard to sit back down and get back into right, right where it you really were. It really is. It's, it's just, a, like, a, so tedious, because you're like, you're good, like, cause everyone has their own methods. I know the best method is to uninstall the program, which I suggest, but then there's certain programs that don't lead that path, and you have to go to that drive and then, like, delete it, and you're not even sure if that's fully clean, so you're just, you've got all this user data that sits there at times. I mean, the, the Epic Game Store doesn't even allow you to move games from right. one drive to another. Right. I, I, I figured out the way they recommend moving from one, one drive to another is you, you, take, you take your game, copy the files somewhere else, you uninstall the game, then you reinstall the game to the drive you want. As soon as it gets to 1% downloaded, you pause the download, move all the files into that folder it created, and then hit resume download and hope that it picks up and right. is like, oh, is that I found really a solution? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, my oh God. verifying files. And it, 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 it's, that was quite the thing to figure <laughs> out, that that was how you uh, move games on the Epic Game Store. But. <laughs> Sounds crappy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Tennyson, you can buy out a bunch of games, but you can't fix a copying program. Right, <laughs> I'm right. just kidding. Uh, uh, but no, I and see, and that's the thing is like it's you see so many things you have to deal with with stuff like this, and it's better to have something that allows you to actually get around, you know, having to deal with this tedious and like first having the anxiety and then the task because like you said, you don't want to get back up and start working. And you're right, like I don't like I just went through all the files. I'm like. I deserve a break. I've yeah. worked really hard on that. 
Oh, exactly. so, yeah, move, okay, it's moving 100 gigs. I'll take a little bit, and I'm just, I'll, I'll watch some TV. Right. And you right. sit, you sit down, you start watching TV, and a couple hours later, you're like, oh yeah, I was, wor- I was working the homework, wasn't <laughs> right. I? <laughs> and so it really does. Like, if you, it's like that's why I especially ban myself from any kind of sites like Reddit or anything that becomes oh, a scrolling sure. wheel moment. Sure. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, because the second you're like, well, I don't have much time. It's like copying, so I might as well look at this. And then like two hours later, you're like. I was doing homework. You're right. Like yeah. I, I agree. Like that's what I do. I'm like I should really stop looking at our was it our memes. <laughs> I mean, too many our, I you know because it was funny. Like they had a meme yesterday where it was like basically um, it said like uh, it said r slash teenagers, but it was a meme within the meme section, okay. and it showed the r teenagers. And it says how to get a girlfriend by a real girl and information. And then under it had a guy the sacred text. <laughs> and I was like sitting there going like. Yeah, I could see that being in teenagers. <laughs> like, but describing a meme is always like so, it never so works. Good. <laughs> it never translates. Like you could like, I try so hard with certain ones because you're just like, as long as you know, like, because they like the big one right now. Everybody has like, it's with the was it um, the housewives? I think it is, and it's the cat. Okay. As like you know your emotions and it's like other people, and it's the cat always like pointing back at them or something. Like that's how they usually write it. It's supposed to be the contrast. So. That's the thing I'm always like, okay, so that's like the new meme. And like they put so many things to it now. Like, so you can't describe that meme and then have the same joke apply to it. It has to be like very specific. So, yeah, you can never describe memes. Memes are always going to be their own thing. It's like explaining a joke. It's just, it, it ruins it. It does. It does. But if somebody catches on to the meme. Yeah, you had to be there. Yeah, that's kind of the whole scenario. Like, but, uh, I mean, besides memes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess they could make a meme out of Star Trek, <laughs> especially with your opening line. Right, <laughs> like, right. like, I want to clip that and make that our follow. <laughs> it sounds like you suffer from capacity anxiety. I'm like, wow, man. If we had a John Oliver show, you'd be perfect right, for one of the skins. Right. <laughs> like, um, so I mean, like, but like you're right. It's having this kind of issue. So like with Fuse, uh, you know, there's a lot to be done because your guys' whole system allows it to sort. You know, using OneDrive. And having it delegate where it should go and, like, you know, optimizing it, right? I mean, like, and how do you... Fuse Drive. Fuse Drive. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I keep saying Fuse. Fuse is someone else, yeah. Yeah, not that person. But... Do, are you thinking the drink? F- the Fuse no. drink? No, okay. he's, 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 talking, he's talking about the, the racing channel. Yeah, ah, okay. that one. Yeah. Wait, I thought it was a music channel first. What? Was it? Yeah, Fuse. <laughs> We've all just given Fuse explanations here. <laughs> like, all right, but I mean, ultimately, going back to the main point of making jokes. So when we look at like you know, uh, Fuse and like it's it's whole Fuse Drive. <laughs> I just did it again. I f- well, it's not you didn't do HHD today, so that's you're you're doing good. What? It's not a such thing as an HHD. <laughs> <laughs> a hard of hearing device. Right, like, there you go. There you go. Right, See. Right. It was it, it exists to some extent, and, like, and we're not going to tear it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I want a tearing for that. Like, uh, but no, like especially with like your HDDs and then like with your SSDs, you also see a lot of that stuff. You know, working together now, more people are using it. Even myself, I use it, and having you know the program itself to delegate and say this yeah. is more important. I think that's actually ultimately what we're saying. What you guys are basically doing with it, sure. right? I mean, like, right. yeah. Our, our our goal is just to make it easier. So basically, you're gonna sort all my recyclables too? No. <laughs> you, uh, come on! You said you're making it easier. Like, oh, just easier in the program. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. but like, and 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 when did you guys kind of notice this is actually something? Because like, for me, I never thought about you know any anybody having capacity anxiety, but like, I know that feeling. So like, where did you guys kind of like? Did you guys kind of feel like, hey, this does help with that you know, section when you guys did it, or were you guys like, this applies really well to this you know scenario what we're seeing here? Uh, I, I think, like, like Eric said earlier, we, the the term came from the the electric vehicles people, but uh, we we thought it really fit that feeling of just like I, I want to install all these games. Yeah, you're not going to play all of them, but you definitely want to install all of them. How do you know and, I'm not going to play all of them? Yeah, yeah. How do you know I'm not going to play all of them? You don't know my life. <laughs> I went to TFT. I played Destiny last night, and afterwards I went to Tarkov. So they're all there for a reason. Like, <laughs> what about the Humble Bundle games? We're not talking yeah, about those games. There's so many to that. Like, yeah. Who makes? <laughs> but, but we, we, we know you want, you want them all there. You're not going to touch all of them. But the ones you do touch will will be sped up. They'll be at, at the performance of, at, of your uh, fast media, whether that be your NVMe, your SSD. That's and true. It'll be a better performance than 
better better experience than just like trying to use your use your hard drives and then oh this hard drive is out of space so, okay I have a little bit on my OS SSD but me, maybe later I'll need to like get some install some documents install some programs but then you know m much easier if something else just does the thinking for right. you right and then, and then Windows update and the game updates and Steam updates and and all the updates yeah. that will keep rolling through no matter what because they always are constantly fixing everything. That just feels like the internet in general. But, but again, I, if you think about it too, it's like all buildings. You can't just leave one building sitting there and over time have a decay. So it, that means there's always going to be that constant evolution of updating and making sure, sure. And, you know. Sure. And if there's a time of year you're going to be suffering from the, the what, what do we call it, capacity anxiety, <laughs> then you're... Uh, <laughs> So How's it you do like th th This is the time of year because like October, November, that's when all the big games come out. Like yeah. October twenty fifth, I think it was, was the Call of Duty, it was the uh, Outer Worlds, and yep. then I think yeah. today the uh, the new Star Wars game from from the Titanfall people. That actually, yeah, that's, so, that's coming out today. Actually, I, that was two days ago, wasn't it? I think it's today. It wasn't was today. Yeah, okay. it was available because I because I, I saw other people playing it yeah. earlier this week. I that's think that, like, I think like yeah. it could have been reviewers. Yeah, yeah EA like likes all, EA likes all those things. If like if you pre order this special edition or this special edition, you might get. Three days earlier, two days earlier. Well, because you also got Death Stranding just came out too. Yeah. And that's like, but again, that's a PS4, but eventually coming to the PC, we'll probably see it be pretty fat because the textures were not small. But uh, I mean, and it's Kojima. So, but like, we saw that happen this week. We also saw that the new Terminator came out. Uh, they actually released a full RPG that was not supposed to launch until later, but now it's. I didn't it's hear launched. about that one, yeah? Yeah, no, it's, so it's like an RPG. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Terminator. I can't remember the thing. It's like Terminator. Oh. It has, it's tying into the movie sure. Salvation. No, it's not so. I want to say no, no. It's yeah, it's something where it's like between. The, here, here, hold on. Is it, uh, no, no, phone no, on no, this. no, no, no. No phone we're on not, this. We're not doing that. All right, <laughs> like, hey Google. <laughs> no. Pachink, pachink, pachink. <laughs> oh, mine was Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> uh, but no, um, there was a lot of games that released this week in general. So I mean, like, it, even now I still have to go back today. Like, because today I'm going like. All right. Well, I gotta do a dust stranding, and then now I gotta put in the new Terminator, and then I'm like, I think I purposely held off on Red Dead for a reason, because I was like, I want to play something about cowboys. I don't care about Grand Theft Auto, but getting in bar fights and like you know robbing people that was all up in my alley. I was like, yeah. Western times seem better you're, than you're gonna like have now. to play for quite a while to be able to have the bar fights and the actual Western gameplay. What? Yeah. I want, okay, now, why? Now I want to know. I don't know. I, I, well, yeah, there's a whole I, I, thing. I, I played you're stuck for, in yeah, a like, blizzard. I, I, I bought a PS4. It came, it came with it, and I was like, I'm just gonna play a little bit of it because I know I'm not gonna. I don't want to play the game until it's on PC. Yeah. So, but like, so I, I put it in. I was like, I'll just run around the, like on a horse in a Western world for a little bit. And I was like, wait, what's wait, what's this? this? I'm in the snow. Yeah, which like, is the, you were doing yeah. the single player, right? Yeah, I was in the, yeah, I was in the yeah, snow. Yeah. I was like, this yeah. this doesn't look like Red Dead, but apparently, eventually, you make it to the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Red Dead Redemption is about anywhere. It doesn't have to be in a desert. It's just cowboys. It's like everybody, in, like pirates. Like everyone thought pirates had to make accurate history sense, and none of it does. <laughs> if they don't look like Johnny Depp, they're not pirates. They're really oh, not. No. Like to me, that's all what pirates is. Yeah. You know, and especially like with new. And if you think about it, like speaking of pirates, we also talk about streaming platforms and how people now are also looking for new ways to store their you know videos and also store you know because we also we say games. But right, also, speak, like speaking of pirate, wait, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of pirates, yeah, quote, 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 yeah. uh, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, we prefer to call those content content distributors. Uh, Actually, I was gonna yeah, say because yeah. Disney just launched their Re redistributors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say because Disney was so amazing and making their new streaming platform. I thought about digital. Actually. That should have been the triangulation, not the other kind of pirates. But uh, I was yeah. just saying, like, with streaming platforms themselves yeah. bringing out, you know, videos, people also are now looking for ways to, like, after they watch something, they'll buy it off Amazon, and they'll either get, like, you know... I know with Amazon, it's stored on their cloud, but we're also talking about, like, people who don't like, use like Amazon. A, like a home Plex server. Kind of a like bit, that. yeah. Where people are, like... Because, I mean, even for me, like, I used Plex for a while when I bought, like, a bunch of stuff from, like, uh, Violent Blue... Or Violent... Purple. I can't remember what it was. It was Violet. So it was, like, they had, they had Blu-ray, and there was, like... Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. There oh, we go. All right, all right. And, like, it kept trying, like, for this last year, it was trying to update me, saying, like, you need to download your videos. I'm all like, what am I downloading? I'm like, this... So, but also, it's, like, it comes with that fact of where people, if they don't want to run, you know, off Amazon or sites, you can actually use storage from what you guys are providing, you know, to catalog their own libraries, like, off price. So... Yeah. I mean, I think that's awesome, though. I mean, because now that you have more room for all that, because, I mean, it, really, we're moving towards those kind of computers in the future, right? I mean, like, it's great to see more storage drives. Yeah, the, like, hard drives are only get, getting bigger. SSDs are only getting bigger. And 
and it's uh, but you'll still but the thing is is the content's also getting bigger so right. yeah. I don't know which one's growing faster Oof, that's rough because even NASA didn't get that part and their computers are still far behind right. <laughs> those are guys who are calculating for us right in the moon tracker but uh, but that's that's something you're right about I mean like we don't like what is getting faster and what's getting bigger because each one keeps making those leaps and bounds and that's why we always meet at CES every year to kind of see where everyone's at it's kind of like that checkup mark where it's like what have you guys been working on? Like, well, this. Right. You know, so I always do that. How do you guys always feel about when you go to like CES? Do you always feel like it's like kind of like something that gives inspiration and, you know, lets you kind of go like, hey, this is a cool idea. We can do this for some of our stuff. Or are you guys kind of like, eh, it's not the biggest thing to us? Uh, it's not me that goes to CES. I, I get to watch CES. Right. But, uh, <laughs> the, not all of us are as special as you, apparently. <laughs> the, uh, but yeah, Look, man, I got locked in a hotel room. And that's not even on a good sense. Uh, that's no. like, it's, it's always fun to see the the new tech that's coming oh, that yeah. I can't afford. So. Exactly. This is true. This yeah. is true. And they have a lot of uh, different kind of like uh, wares they have going on they'd never even see market. You just like right, you see the yeah. product of it. Yeah, vaporware. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, like it, it's cool seeing all the crazy big uh, NVMEs that are crazy fast, but you never yeah. see them happen. <laughs> uh, the, I won't ever see it in my system. I, right. I can't afford that. But <laughs> right. Like. This is true. The price, yeah. the price point, and see, that's the other part too that we look at is like the price point for different, like you know, hardware. Like, I mean, yeah. what, what you guys are asking is like a fraction of what you would see, like, from like buying a full hard drive or going out right. and trying to find a hard drive that's decent but not too cheap. Right. You know, the, the nice thing with the, with the fuse drive is you can buy an extremely cheap hard drive because you're you're not going to be playing your games off of the hard drive. It's there to to hold the stuff that you're not touching. Yeah. Right. And so it being in more of an archival purpose, just. It's, it just needs to be big, cheap, and hopefully somewhat reliable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, perfect, you found me. Not to kidding. <laughs> see, like, like for for my home use, I, I found like a four terabyte drive was a, a good like balance to price and size. And I've only filled probably two to th- two to three quarters of it to this point. Mm. So eventually, I'll have to upgrade that again. But. For now, the four, four terabytes good, and, Man, and then you're going to want another backup drive on top of that. And yeah. yeah, just my, my SSD is a couple hundred gigs, and I have that just attached to my fuse drive. And I, sometimes I forget the fuse drive is there, but that's that's the, that's the goal. That's, yeah, right. See, yeah. but I, I mean, it, that's what people are going to forget is that if it's there and it's operating in the background, I would guess ultimately, as they always say, silent actions are things that you don't think about when you're doing. So I mean, if people get so used to it, I mean, heck, yeah. wouldn't that mean you guys just became a household name and an action of computer? Yeah, like, like, like the goal is that you're, you sit down at your computer and you don't think, I'm going to use my fuse drive today. It's, I'm going to use my computer today. It's exactly. like, well, and, and that's ultimately the way you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I agree. I think it's great that you guys get that opportunity to, like, be that. Because, I mean, like, I'm excited for the fact that you get to do more with your drives instead of just less. Because, I mean, like, this is something you don't really pay attention to that often, like how it's getting sorted. A lot of people just think, it's a drive, drag and drop, it's right. done. You know, like, right. So they don't realize all the information going back and forth uh, between the two. So, man, that's, that is a lot itself to, like, in campus there. I mean, like, is there anything else that I forgot with this? Like, I mean, because, like, I mean, Fuse itself, like, we, we discussed what it's doing uh, to archive everything, right? Like, just, the whole process itself is sped up because it's working between the two drives themselves. Yeah, just moving the things you use to the fast stuff, and the stuff you don't gets moved to the slow stuff. Is there anything else? Because I think we were talking about like is like when you're like will you see more improvements off certain drives while using Fuse Drive, or because like that's that's what we're talking about is like the capacity, and like you were saying even with the frames how it was improving with like you know the gameplay because you're you were kind of hit and throw like before that even happens you'll you'll get warned or anything. Is there any kind of like stuff that we should be aware of with that like warning of what? Oh, I mean, like, example, like, okay, so, like, if you're using Fuse Drive, will you see the same, because, like, I was just thinking about it right now, like, with capacity anxiety, will you see with Fuse Drive, like, will it say, like, hey, you're getting too close, and let them know, or will it allocate without, you know, bugging or pestering them? Uh, when, 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 when what is too close? Sorry, when filling up, that's, that's what fill, I mean, When like, filling up the whole, like, all, the, the all whole the drive drives themselves? Yeah. It, it, to you, it looks just like a regular drive right. in, in Windows, so... Right. If you fill it up, that that's you filling up the drives. Right. Like the, and, and Windows starts bugging you. At yeah, a I think Windows point. bugs you. Like, oh, you're like ninety percent capacity. Right. But yeah. like, and, then, and and now it's even worse because they like allocate this extra space for updates, and so yeah. it, you, you even have less. It seems like yeah, with nineteen oh nine coming out, they're going to take another like some amount of space off the end of your drive again. Right. Just, is that they, they and, and probably more recovery. Yeah, more recoveries and. 
then you'll have that second dead recovery on top of that that, that they love to put there. Wow. There's a lot of recoveries in there. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's so flawless. It just acts like a regular hard drive itself and just moves on with no yeah. other issues. Yeah, you, yeah. You set up your backup. You set up any of your disk management tools. It's it's all just a regular drive. So then, why aren't people actually doing more? You know, like why aren't they? You know, like just go out and grab Fuse Drive. And like, doesn't it seem like it would be the better idea right now? Then that's that's what we're trying to preach here, right? <laughs> Peace, brother. See. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, ultimately, that's that seems like everything we want to talk about. He's like, is is there anything else we should be aware of with like, you know, capacity anxiety? Anything? There, any tips that helps people if they're not going to at least, you know, check out Fuse Drive? You know, because I mean, so far, I think, I don't know, like, because you know how people are, they can be skeptical about things, sure. you know. But like, if there's any way that you can help them maintain without, you know, trying to go over, you know. Uh, I guess even more problems with stuff like that. Like, is there any tips you have for people, or are you just going to straight up say like, get fuse drive, stop wasting your time? I, I don't think you're really in control of how big the games are getting. So right. like, it, your your options are either to continue getting rid of the game, the games that you were just playing a week right. ago to play right. the new or, game or this week, or at least shuttling over the or, hard or, or trying to move them around forth, if yeah. if the application allows you to move it around. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, right. So in other words, we should just. Get fuse drive and stuff. Fuse around, drive, right? Like, yeah. see, and I know, guys. Ultimately, you would think that it's just me trying to plug this, but this is one of the things where I tell people, like, like, I don't usually like to get behind stuff and say to do something if I don't believe in it. And the fact that we get to discuss this openly with you guys and being like honest about it and like stuff like that, right. it really, I think, it's better for a lot of people to understand more that way. Because, sure, like for a lot of you guys don't know, you know, like I do come here and I do do the show, but the thing is. They have all the knowledge, and I'm generally asking questions off the bat to talk to them because I want to know as much as you guys do and seeing the improvements of this, you know. And like a lot of the times, we don't get you know to have discussions with hardware companies, we only get snippets and bits. And these guys are honestly coming out to talk to you guys and let you know more about you know Fuse Drive. And Zach always shoots me an awkward look no matter what because I think he's just trying to like stare me down and be like, I'm the superior person. And I'm like, I don't know, Zach, you are, but I just <laughs> that does sound like Zach. He well, has that intimidation it's factor. It's more of your statements confuse me sometimes. <laughs> I confuse myself. <laughs> but um, I, I guess more or less it's like also too for the fact that I get to formulate a lot of the questions uh, on the fly. So that way you guys understand that like whatever does arise, I am going to ask it no matter what. And uh, like we can have these nice moments where we discuss what the idea is, but it's also allowing you know me to say like okay, well I thought this is how this works, or is there anything else? Because like. Pretty much with capacity and anxiety, we discussed a lot from, you know, like the feeling to it to how, you know, we combat it and how you guys literally just are like, what? We don't even have to worry about it. I, th I think right? that's enough information to take in today. Right? I think I know I agree with you. And yeah. so with that, guys, you know, I think that's everything here at uh, Fuse Drive TV. I want to say thank you guys. Is there any nice words you guys have for everybody in the weekend? Have a good weekend. Come on, Zach. Like... You're so about my confusing questions. That wasn't confusing. That was you saying, I, have I, a good weekend. I was letting Eric talk. It's been a while. Fine. I, I agree with him. Have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, guys. Have a good one. Yeah.